messy, but I want to share this with you. Um, it's finally time for Rick to dismantle the fridge. I've done this bit. Yep, he's done this bit. Huh? And he's hoping he can get out. <laughs> Hi there. Hello Please down don't. there. Please don't. No. Oh, serious stuff. I better leave him to it. My claustrophobia is playing. <gasps> he's got you don't have claustrophobia. Here, film this then. Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah? Oh, I missed it. I heard it. Pull up. Here he comes. Oh, God, sorry. Oh, you can have a cushion on your back. <sighs> oh. What's Daddy doing on your bed? I'm dizzy. Okie dokies. I'll clean the lens first. Okay. Righto, here we are leaving Palermo. Um, Louis's on the phone to her sister in Tasmania, yeah. Australia. So, um, I just... And not a breath of wind. Fish are jumping in the water where the fishermen aren't. <laughs> So we're just leaving Palermo on our way to Sardinia. Boy, it's been a long story. We were told that Spain is closed because of uh, coronavirus again. And we had to uh, then make alternative arrangements. So we went to a place, we were contacted a place called Crotone in the bottom of Italy. And they were okay to do the boat works for us. So we were all but heading there uh, today uh, yeah all but heading there today but uh, Crotone Italy has introduced four provinces areas that are in lockdown and Crotone is unfortunately one of them so there is only very limited entry and exit into Crotone and we can't we can't go there so we contacted uh, our Marimar again in, in Spain and they have given us a letter that says that because we need essential and uh, essential and urgent repair work or something like that uh, that we ha have to come into that marina so that should be great for us and so this is a meaning start of an eight day trip for us uh, two days to the bottom of Sardinia we'll rest up there then head to uh, Ibiza one of the Balearic Islands and then across to mainland Spain so Whilst it'll be an eight day trip, sailing wise, it will be uh, probably a bit longer because we'll have breaks like at the bottom of Sardinia, etc. Um, yeah, so as you can probably see, not a breath of wind on this water. So we topped up with fuel yesterday at the marina and we're on our way today motoring by the look of it might be a bit of breeze on the horizon but looking at that cat over there it doesn't look like he's had his sails up so yeah bye bye Sicily your hospitality has been good so thank you we have enjoyed our time in Sicily What do you want to do? I'm going to reel the wine, reel this in so it doesn't, so it doesn't get tangled. That's what I hate about this fine line. And then we'll see. Why did you put the little line out and not the big one? Um, I don't know. Give it a go. Not that. You reckon there's a fish back there somewhere? Yeah, look at it. You can see there's something on the top of the surface. Oh yes. Oh my god. It is. It has to be. It has to be because sometimes it's tight. Sometimes it's not. Yeah, I can see splashes. You've only got about 70 metres to go. I know. Oh, it's a fish. It is because it gets stuck and then it gets really loose. Oh, that's 
when they go like this, isn't it? You think? I don't know, I'm gonna caught a fish. I reckon it's a plastic bag. Could be, this has been a lot of rubbish. Yeah, there has. So I won't get that excited. Oh, there it is. You see the splashes at the back there? It doesn't look like a fish. Oh my God. Get it in already. Has it gone? Ah, oh, there it is. It's yeah, another 30 meters to go. Something red. Looks like a bit of rope. One of the other guys' fishing nets. <laughs> so, dear, have you caught a fish? I still don't know. Oh, I think so. It's a long, skinny one if it is. Yeah, well, we might have to be catching a relief. Oh, no, there could be a fish on the end of that. No, we're not that lucky to catch a fish. I'll be doing it for today. Don't do what I did. You know, I'll wait for myself. I hope. Famous last words. Do you want me to hold the reel? You're off to there, don't you? Yep, pretty, pretty much. You happy if I go now? motor sailing all night breeze hasn't been a lot I'll try and get some sails up uh, some more sails out now unfortunately though the tracking of the weather is that we've got to get from Sicily to the bottom of Sardinia uh, in 48 hours I think it was because the winds are going to change direction there and build in strength so we may have to overnight uh, at anchor underneath Sardinia uh, if we slow down and uh, unfortunately sail it probably in these conditions, I don't know, maybe we'd get three, four knots out of uh, salation, not too many. And that would then put us fair smack at the bottom of Sardinia when the weather changes and uh, that would not be a good spot for us to be. It would be very confused. And the wind funnels down around the bottom of Sardinia. We're trying to sail to a weather window and outrun or beat the weather getting there, which is what cruising's about, I guess, and that's why we bought a 47 foot so that our hull speed is actually eight knots. So we can outrun weather, kind of like what the idea of cruising catamarans are about to be able to outrun the weather. Anyway, enough of my ramble on morning of day two. Still a little tad chilly, the sun will heat us up. So, um, yeah, I'll say good morning and go about my chores. Good morning. Well, Lou's on watch. She came up and she wanted to check her fishing line and tell us what, tell everybody, Louie. I caught a fish. No, you didn't. I did, must have, because it took my, I've got to put a new fella on. I lost. The old Olivia. No, that's Olivia. So. I lost Heidi, oh, no, that's new Heidi. I lost Annie, yeah, Annie. Unless it was Olivia. I don't know, but the video will tell us when I went to the shop. Either, I think this could be Annie. So I, I bought a new Olivia and I lost Olivia. Right, but no fish. No, it took that. It took a new tin skirt that I made and it took the lure that David and us made in class as well. So it had all those. Oh no, it didn't. There's that David one there. No, didn't take that one. Right. Ooh, trying to get comfortable. Today's Sunday. Sunday today. I don't know what date today. Sometime <laughs> in November. This, uh, we anchored last night, or two nights actually, in Sardinia, around the corner from the capital, and set off. 
five hours ago, roughly. We're now at a little island called Il Toro, right there. Out in the middle of, well, it's not out in the middle of nowhere, but uh, yeah, it's just out here. And we've got a bit of a swell running with us. As you can see, we're running downhill. Uh, not by the lee, I think that's the way the waves are causing that on me. So it's a bit of pressure out here, a little bit of wind. Moving us along, we're doing about six. Uh, we've got the big Genoa away. Stays lonely. Stays alone, mate. There's a yacht. There's a yacht over that side of Il Toro. I'm uh, not sure what his is, but the where I'm like. There's another one out there. He was at the same anchorage as us. Wonder what it was that caused it to go off. Anyway, we're back on now. So yes, that boat that was out there that I pointed to out there, he left the same anchorage, but he left about an hour in front of us. Uh, and he seems to be making a little bit better uh, time than what we are. Stop it! I'll find you! Okay, dear. Another one for a Mediterranean one. Where's that? No, this is Italy. No, no, look. Rook's winning so far because there's not going to be many games. So you're going to you're going to say Italy's dead? No, Are Italy's you? not dead because if we go, if we go to uh, Dinia. Dinia. See, we're still in Italy waters. No. No, we're actually outside of it. Correct. Yeah. This is the current score because we haven't done much under under sail. We've been going so. We're doing another one tonight. It may even be a um, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> but we'll have a couple more. But we're calling it the Mediterranean until we get out of the mouth. Anyway. But anyway, we're both on watch at the moment, playing uh, backgammon before the sun comes down. Yeah. Those clean windows, Mum. Before it gets. On you, dude. You're getting a few mentions in the last couple of videos, aren't you? Anyway. See ya.